Let it cry. Let it cry go on somewhere. I can't stop that choir because praise is what they do. My God. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. But grace and Father, we want to thank you for that choir, Lord. Thank you for how you bless them, God. In the name of Jesus Christ and not in God. Now we pray, God, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning your word this morning, Lord. Help us, God, if we want to add that to your word. And God, if we want to take anything away from your word, we're right to divide your word by your spirit and by your great power. Lord, a special power for John Barry, Lord, he's working in Emmanuel's 12. Be with him, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. We pray for victory, Jesus, and Bible us and all the members, Lord, whatever they've gone through. Whether it be spiritual, physical, or financial, have that life, God, that you meet every need. We ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Philippians 4, in Ephraim, 19, said, My God shall supply all of our needs according to rich and glory by Christ Jesus. And God, that we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. Lord, we pray for the president, those in authority, Lord, the Democrats, Republicans, Lord. Let there be peace in the White House, God. Let there be peace in our house. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. Those that are not saving that White House, that you'll save them, God. Those that are not saving our house, Lord, save them. We ask in the name of Jesus, God. And thank you, God, for that shetty and Friday night, Lord. We give you all honor and glory to pray for it, God. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen and amen. amen, amen. Good to see you. Amen, Sister Denise in the house, man, she called this morning, amen, for a ride. And I see she got her answer to her call. My God, my God. God is somebody. We want to deal with prayer this morning. Amen. Uh, and let's go to page 1041, Matthew 5 and 19. And the reason why we can deal with it, because we're going to see what 19 verse says. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach man so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Well, we're going to teach you the, uh, this morning and by prior, amen, because it was a doer of it Friday. We, we, was it what? A now, none of the scriptures say you have to do it and then teach it. So we did it, and now we're going to what? Now we're going to teach it. Lord, have mercy, God. I don't need somebody catching it. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Come with me now to page, amen, 1114. That'd be Luke 6 and 12. Page 1116, that's Luke, amen, 6 and 12. And we're going to give you some scriptures on Jesus Christ and how he prayed. If you need a good example, that's your best example. Amen. To follow. I don't care what you're doing in life. Amen. If you want to live a sinner's life, follow Jesus. If you want to live a, a sin life, follow the devil. You can make it no plainer than that. Amen. That page, amen, 1114, Luke 6, amen, and 12. And it came to pass in those days that he went out, amen, into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. How long did he pray? We just prayed until 12 o'clock. Jesus Christ prayed. Oh, I hope y'all catching this. He prayed all night. Some folks can't pray one hour. He disciples say, you mean to tell me y'all can't pray one hour? Amen. Watch and pray so you won't enter into what? Temptation. Temptation. The devil tempt you to go to sleep when it's time to pray. The devil tempt you to go to sleep when it's time to read the word of God. Oh, you get all yawning, all tired, talking about you're going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow come, you see it ain't done nothing. Uh, that you know, that you know you're in a fight just to pray. Amen. Just to pray. Amen. So we see that Jesus Christ is our example. He prayed all night. Amen. Look at 13 verse. And when it was day, he called unto the disciples, and of, uh, of them that uh, of them he chose twelve, whom also he had named apostles. Now notice uh, he didn't go to sleep when they they broke. When they came, he didn't go to sleep. He went out and chose. That's how they prayed all night. My God, that's something. He came in the flesh. Now, you know he was tired. Flesh get tired. I don't care nobody to say. Amen. That flesh get tired. That's why you need a you need the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You need some Jesus and some word in you to keep moving forward. Amen. Look at that uh, 14 verse. Right. Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John and Philip and, and Bartholomew. Amen. Matthew and Thomas, James, the son of Athian. And Simon called Zelot, and Judas the brother 
of Jane and, and Judas Ashcroft, amen, which also uh, was the traitor. So he had to choose one of them to betray him to fulfill what? He had to fulfill the word of God. So he had to pray and ask God which one should he choose to betray him. He, this, not, this is not Jesus Christ, y'all. Who he prayed to? He prayed to God all night. You know, some people make their own choice and they just do praying. Now, when you pray, you need to seek God, amen, and what he wants. Amen. Now, when we seek God in, in prayer and what he wants, you're going to find that ain't going to be your choice. Ain't going to be who? Ain't going to be what you want. And you're going to find that out. That's why you want to seek God, amen, in prayer. And when he make his choice, that's the one you need to go with. I mean, give the Lord a hand clap, amen, for the word. God is an awesome God. Amen. Thank God for the word. Let's go now, amen, bless God, to uh, page 1109. Page 1109. That's uh, page 1109. We got 1109 in there? Let's see what we got here. It might be Luke 3 and 21. Is that... That's you. That's the right page. Huh? That's the right page. 1109 is the right page? Okay. Amen. Because I got a lot of groceries in here. I got, I got, I got more groceries than I got time. Amen. Page 1109 is going to be Luke 3 and 21. Amen. Luke. Amen. The third chapter of 21 verse. Thank you, Sister Kim. Now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass... That Jesus also being baptized and praying that heaven was what? Open. Give the Lord a hand clap, amen, for uh, our sister, amen, for brother Jared and, and, and the sister in the house. Amen. Thank God for them. Um, good to see them. Amen. We're dealing with prayer. We're on page 1109 and then Luke, amen, the third chapter. Uh, uh, we just got to read the 21 verse. Amen. Uh, the 22nd verse. And the Holy Ghost descended. Amen. In the body shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came, amen, from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son, and thee I am well pleased. Why God is well pleased with the son? Obedient. Obedient to what God wants. And he praying. Who, who are you talking to? Awesome. Talking to his father. That's what we need to do. We need to pray, amen, bless God, just like Jesus Christ. Amen, bless God, like he prayed. He's good. He's good. He's our example. How to pray. Amen. He prayed when he was baptized. He prayed, amen, bless God, when he went to church, chose the 12 disciples. He, he sought his father what his father wanted. 23rd verse. And Jesus had began to be about 30 years of age, amen, uh, being as he supposed the son of Joseph, which is the son of Heli. So then you go into the uh, all, all the names here. You get a lot of names. We're not going to go through them all. Amen. If you turn to the page uh, 1110, you turn to page 1110, you're going to see it all go back to Adam. All these names are going to go back to the beginning of time. Look at that 38th verse. Uh, which was the son of Enos, which is the son of Seth, which is the son of Adam, which is the son of who? Of God. Adam is the son of God. So that's why Adam, amen, bless God, Adam fell. When Adam fell in the garden, amen, bless God, then the devil took over, and he, he called himself trying to take over all of us. But he can't take over the believers now because Jesus Christ came, paid the penalty for our sin. Now we can be born again, see, because we're born into sin. Now we can be born again and be born in the nature of God. Then you're going to have a fight going on. A wrath is going to go on. Your flesh, man, and spirit, your flesh don't get saved. It's your spirit that gets saved. So then you're in a warfare. Oh, bless God. I don't find out. The only one that's going to go to heaven is the one that's going to be there. I wonder why. Because hmm. well, <laughs> they did some fighting and praying. Uh, they had to find out they had to do something. If Jesus Christ had to pray, <coughs> what about us? My God, my God. Amen. Get a lot of that. Another hand clap for you. God's an awesome God. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So let's look at, uh, uh, this is going to be on uh, page uh, 1055. Amen. Page 1055. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 
Matthew 14 and 22. Amen. Matthew 14 and 22. Now, when we get through this message, amen, you understand, amen, prayer is essential. Amen. If Christ had to pray, amen, we'll find out it's, it's going to be essential for our life. Amen. That's must, it's, it's got to, we must pray. Uh, let's go to um, Matthews 14 and 22. Okay, page 1055. Amen. And, and straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a, a ship and to go be, uh, before him and to the other side. While he sent uh, multitudes away, the 23rd verse, when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountain apart to what? Pray. I wonder why you're going to pray now. Mm. See, you got to leave people alone sometimes. And spend some time with who? Jesus. With, with Jesus, with the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Sometimes you got to have that one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. It's a personal relationship. And sometimes you got to have that one-on-one -on -one with Him. Lord, have mercy, God. And, and, and that's what I like about the Lord. I, I, when I study about how Jesus Christ prayed, I find I left some folks alone to go into the mountain to pray. You know, when He went to cho uh, made His choice, a man for the 12 disciples. Amen. He, he, he went to talk to, to Anakai, his father. He went and talked to God about it. Lord, have mercy now. Now he got he got to lead the people along. And so when you find yourself leading people along, you spend time with God, all you're going to do is increase what you done lost. I hope y'all caught that. See, because people pull stuff out of you. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then you can pick up all kinds of spirits you don't even know nothing about because you can't see them. So you need to go, amen, and repent with God, spend some time with him in prayer, Amen. Come back out. Now you're ready to deal with some other people. Or deal with yourself too. With who else? And with yourself. Amen. Bless God. They mounted apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with wave, for the wind was contrary. And the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the what? My God, how would you like to see Jesus Christ coming, walking on the sea? Now, they thought it was a ghost. They got scared. Oh, Lord, how much. That's why it's good to what? To pray. So you won't have no fear coming over you. The 26th verse. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, there were troubled sand. It is a spirit. Oh, they all know what Jesus Christ looked like. And they cried out for what? Fear. Now they're afraid, and, and I know, <laughs> Lord, I bless God. They've been walking with Jesus, so they ought to know who, who, what he looks like. Uh, here they are, they're afraid. So we got it. Look, each, a lot of the things come our way bring fear. I don't find out, the more you spend time in the word and prayer, if something come against you or, or shadow come in, you ain't going to jump. I wonder why. Because you got the word in you, and you got the presence of the Lord in you. There is no fear. The only fear that you should have is of God. You you won't you won't be afraid. I don't had I had a situation come past by me and, and I was supposed to jump, but I didn't jump. I said, Lord, thank you. You know why why I thank? Because he was there. He took fear from me. So I didn't have to be what? I didn't have to be afraid. I didn't bless my own self here, Lord. Hey man, give the Lord another hand clap, man. He is God's an awesome God. Proud. I said, prayer is powerful. It works. Amen. Bless God. Uh, now, he just come out of the mountain and been praying. Now, he's walking on water. Y'all see what prayer did for Jesus? He's walking on some water. Because he's he been the presence of his Father. Lord, have mercy, God. I'm, I'm blessed with you, Lord. Uh, 27 verse. But straightway Jesus spake unto, unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It, it is I. Be not a... Right. Don't, don't be afraid. That's me. You ain't got to fear nothing. I ain't going to do you nothing. Uh, 28 verse. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Uh -huh. You know, Peter always got to be the first one to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Peter was like that. He was quick to, he was quick to say something. Uh, 29 verse. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Now, what was holding Peter up? Faith. Huh? Faith. Faith. 
And what, what else held him up? That word come. Y'all yeah, yeah. hope y'all looking at that. Yeah. See now, he believed and he stepped out on that word. Water can't hold you up. No. No. So you have to have faith in the word. Yeah. Faith in the who? But you heard right. But you have faith in the word come. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus spoke it. Uh, Sister D said he spoke it. So when you put it all together, see, one time I, I was thinking yesterday, can, can my faith uh, help me if I'm doing wrong? Why not? I got faith. You got faith without works is dead. But I, but I got some faith. But, you're still doing but I'm rolling dice. And I have faith that I'm going to win this. You mean it ain't lining up? Uh-oh. Uh, I hope y'all catching that out there. Because Jesus Bible says, y'all need to come over here so they can teach y'all. Amen. Bless God. Seems like they know something. Amen. Bless God. Get a lot of hand clapping, man, for the word. Amen. I was thinking about that yesterday. I said, can my faith work for me if I'm doing wrong? Lord, have mercy of God. I asked Herman that. You know, Herman said, oh, no, it can't work for you. Brother, yeah, he talked to me. And my own self talked to me. Uh, so he said, and he said, come. And when Peter was come down, amen, out of the ship, he walked, amen, on the water to go to Jesus. Now, we're going to see that Peter, amen, he lost his, his faith in the word. When what came? Oh, wind. That wind is a sign of what? Trouble. When trouble comes in your life, you know, we know some scriptures, but watch when trouble comes in your life. Do you really think on the scripture? When, when trouble hits you, your mind be allowed on the problems you got, on the situation you've gone through, and sit on the word of God. That make you pray? All right, well, that's good. Now you know where to, but Brother Mike know where to go. You know to go in the prayer. That's what the message is about. Amen. You know to go in the prayer, and that's what Peter should have did. See, because either you're going to go in the prayer or you're going to die. Fear is going to come on you, and should have rebuking fear in prayer. You can, you can, be, you can, be, you, can be, you can rebuke fear in prayer. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus, and then that lets you know that your faith, amen, is strong enough Amen. Get a lot of hands out for man, for our sister coming out. Thank God for her. Amen. Sister Priscilla. Amen. I haven't seen her in a while. Thank God for her. And the little one. Amen. We're on page 1055. Amen. Page 1055. Uh, but when he saw the wind boasting, he was what? So can fear and faith work together? Uh, can doubt and unbelief work with faith? So you know when you fear, that's when you got to get rid of fear. Uh, you see, it's gonna come. I wish I, I wish I could tell y'all that you ain't gonna have no fear uh, hitting on you or no doubt, and unbelief coming to you. It will come. Now I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of it. Lord have mercy, God. In the name of Jesus, that's all Peter should have did. He, he, he know it came on him, and look, and he, since he didn't do nothing with it, watch what's gonna happen to him. So if you don't do nothing with your fear, you don't do nothing with your doubt and unbelief, something going to happen to you. That's what happened to Peter. But uh, when boasted, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. Now he was doing good, walking, but what brought him down? Fear. I want y'all to catch that. And when fear hit you, hit fear back. That's like somebody slap you side your face, turn out the cheek. But when the devil slap you, slap him back in the name of Jesus. Not the people now, because the Lord told you to turn your other cheek. So you have to call some Jesus to do that. There ain't no way you're going to turn no other cheek without Jesus. Your flesh don't want to fight. So uh, I'm trying to help you. In the 31 verse, uh, and immediately Jesus stretched forward his hand. So when he said, Lord, save me, how long it took? <laughs> I go back to Romans 8 and 13. Who shall call on the name of the Lord? Not maybe or perhaps or just by chance. He says, shall be saved. So if I call on the Lord and nothing happen, well, get, what you guess, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to call again. I'm not going to stop calling until something happens. Lord, have mercy God. Until I come out of that water. Uh -uh, I ain't going under. I'm going over in the name of Jesus. Oh, his name. It's a power in his name. So 
Uh, now, when Jesus Christ asked him to save me, he had to correct him. I wonder how many people, whenever they get saved, uh, some people don't like correction when they get saved. Well, the correction is to tell you not to go do that again. Yeah, yeah. That's what caused a problem. I know when I pray with somebody, I mean, I pray for my eyes and say, well, you know, don't go back and do it again because what happened to you now can happen to you again. So I, I pray for the person, but I'm, I'm letting them know, uh, don't go back and do that again. Uh, because then you have to get back in the prayer line again for the same thing. Yeah. I hope y'all caught that. No words be, how many times we'll go down this road? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just as he said. I didn't tell you you're going to go down the same road. They ain't working for you. Change what you're doing because it ain't working. <laughs> Learn how to pray and call on Jesus yeah. so it can work for you. Lord, have mercy, God. Where did preacher come from? But I take a zip 777-03-1375 East Lucas. Thank you. So now you get ready to get, get corrected. Amen. Jesus Christ and got him, he got him out to water. Amen. Bless God. Immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said to him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? He said, Why you doubt? You was doing good, walking. See, the doubt came because of the wind, strong wind. So a wind is a sign of trouble and problems. So you won't have a problem. It's, it, it's like a, a tornado come. When a tornado hit the city, what you have? Fear. Yeah, fear, chaos, fear. and you have some people praying. Which group you going to be in? The praying. Uh, the praying group. <laughs> Give it the praying group. You'll come out, you come out of the storm better. Oh, yeah, you'll come out better with the praying group still with the one doubt. Uh, I feel I feel how that work. Amen. Uh, Lord, have mercy. So, Lord, I want to be with the praying people. Amen. When trouble comes. Amen. 30 second verse. And it will come, amen, into the ship. The wind what? Cease. The wind quit. Amen. Because Jesus now, amen, he's he on the scene now. Lord, have mercy. I wonder why the wind and storm didn't scare Jesus. Have you ever thought about it? Scared Peter. Yeah. Huh? You power and authority. When you know you got power and authority over something, you don't have to be afraid. Yeah. Hope y'all caught that. That's good, Sister Kim. Yeah. If you got power and authority and you know you got it, don't fear that little stuff that come in your life. Whip it. Yeah. Put something on it and get rid of it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. My God, I'm going to teach you how to whip that devil. Jesus Amen. Bless God. Uh -huh. I said, if Jesus obeyed all that word, he didn't have any fear in him. He had no fear. He knew. He knew he had to obey him. So, can it, 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 it sin have to obey Jesus Christ? Huh? Yes. Yeah. He got power over sin. He whipped it. Came down in the flesh and whipped sin. Uh, do he have any power over sickness? So, sickness have to obey him. He got any power over being broke. Uh, so broke I have to obey him. Lord, have mercy God. Uh, yeah, I'll never be broke another day in my life. That's what I tell bro. I don't play with broke. I ain't never been broke. Since I gave my life to the Lord, I always had some. My God, I had some problems. Had some trials against my finances. But Jesus! But who? Yeah, I think I'm going somewhere. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, man, bless God. The wind sees. Let's get another one. Hey, man, bless God. Uh, Lord, have us God. Go come with me to page 10, 6, and 1. Hey, man, page 10. Hey, man, 6 and 1. Y'all ought to see the grocery. I got a problem on top of groceries in here. Hey, man, bless God. Lord gave me some more, and I had to write on top of it the ones I wrote on the top of. Lord, have us God. Uh, page 10, 6, and 1. Matthew 19 and 13. Hey, man, Matthew 19. Amen. In 13. Then there were then there, there were brought unto him little children, that he should put his hand on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. That's page 1061, 19 and 13. Now who rebuked Jesus Christ? I hope y'all catching it. Who, who rebuked Jesus? His disciples. You know what rebuke means? I think the word rebuke. It means uh, an express or sharp uh, disapproval uh, or uh, criti criticism. 
They criticize Jesus and they rebuke him sharply. It looks like to me you wouldn't want to do that with Jesus. Well, the disciples did. So that's why we need to learn how to follow Jesus. Amen. From the errors and mistakes that the apostles and the disciples made. They made some errors. They made some mistakes. But we want to come to a place where we can sharpen our sword good enough where we can walk upright before God. Amen. What's wrong with that picture? I think that's a good picture. Amen. So let's let's see how Jesus Christ handled his rebuke. Lord, that mess of God. <laughs> well, let's see how Jesus Christ handled his rebuke. 14 by. Uh, but Jesus said, Suffer the little children and, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. So all he did is corrected them. And, they, and, and their rebuke toward him, he said, Suffer the little children and loud. He said, Allow loud, loud them children to come to him. And did the disciples have to obey that? Yes. His word? Yes. They had to obey his word. <laughs> My God. If you don't obey his word, will you be a disciple? No. Yeah, you, know, you can't be no disciple if you don't obey his word. So they did have that much knowledge to know if you're going to be a disciple. A disciple is a follower of Christ. That's what a disciple is. Amen. And, and when you're following Christ, you obey what he say. So, you see, uh -uh, don't stop them living coming to me. See, a little child, you got to think about this, when Jesus Christ is dealing with on little children. You, you got a little child, you know, they, they, that, that's their toy. And then they get in a little fight, you know, with another one. Another little child, want that toy. Well, in, in their nature, you know, they, they got that sin in them. Uh, so that's why they got to be born again. So they, they, they fight uh, for their stuff. And, and sometimes the toy don't even belong to them. But they want it. Yeah, they want it. They're, that's mine. It ain't even they talk. Uh, but that's that's their nature. So they go in a little fight. And then before you know it, the two little children playing again. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder. Huh? He said, everybody got to be like a little child. You take two grown-up fight. How long it take before they get back together? Yeah, sometimes they take it to the grave. Lord, you're a sister Kim said it. Or the grown up, it take years and some of them go to grave with it. I don't, not me, Lord. If I get in a fight with a grown up, Lord, let me be like a little child. Yes. And be like, what? Yes. A little child, Lord. Yes. And let me humble myself. <laughs> Concession is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> 15 verb. And he laid his hand on them and departed thence. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. What good shall I do that I have eternal life? Amen. We're not going to go into that part. Amen. We see he's trying to set up Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ told him to set everything he got and follow him. Amen. You can find out who was in the man. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. Bless God to, uh, see that page 1061. Amen. That's the 19. Okay, Lord. All right. Let's go to page 1072. Amen. Page 1072. I used to have my grocery spread out, but this grocery here, oh, bless God, it's piled up. Amen. That's Matthew 26 and 36. Amen. Matthew, amen, 26, amen, and 36. Uh, then come Jesus with them into a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Now he tell them to stay there until they go and pray. Uh, so prayer is not a one-time thing. Jesus Christ prayed all the way to the cross and while he was on the cross. So we want to catch this now. I wish I could pray one time and then that'd be it. When I did, I, I gave you examples on Jesus Christ, amen, and then you got a lot of other scriptures on, on how he prayed. Uh, we just ain't got enough uh, room, enough time for that. Amen, so we're going to give you some of it. Amen, bless God. 37 verse. And he took with him Peter uh, and the two sons of Zebedee, and they began to sorrow and very hairy. Now, the, uh, the two sons of Zebedee, you find it in uh, 4 and 21. You find out that uh, James, as James and John. Amen. You find that in uh, Matthew 4 and 21. Amen. 38 verb. Then said he unto them, My soul exceeds sorrowful even unto death. Carry ye here and watch with me. Now, they're supposed to be watching because they got Judas and betrayed them. And now they're coming to take Jesus and be crucified. So now Jesus Christ is praying to his father to let this pass. 
In other words, he didn't want to go through that. Do you want to suffer? No. Oh, I don't think so. Either. So you want to pray to get out of it. But he's going to say, not my will. It's good to know the will of God. What is God's will? It's his word. If you know the word of God, you'll know his will. I hope y'all catch that. See, Jesus Christ knew what his father wanted. He knew what his father told him. So once you learn the word of God, you'll learn the will of God. Amen. 39th word. Amen. Bless God. Oh, and he went a little further, fell on his face, and what? And prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. So when you pray the will of God, and you know the will of God, that's how you're going to pray. But now, when you know the will of God, you ain't going to pray if it be thy will, if you know his will. Is it will for me to be healed? Well, I don't have to pray if it be thy will. If it is will for me to be saved, well, I don't have to pray if it be thy will. I can pray the Lord save me, because it is his will. The Bible says, it's not, it's not the will of God that any man should perish, but we all come to repentance. So I know it's in his will, because the word told me he don't want me to perish. So I know it's in his will. So I know how to pray, amen, how to stay saved. I know how to do it, amen, through his word. Amen. Power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Through prayer, praise, worship. Amen. Hold on of God. Amen. Whip sin. Whip sickness. Whip poverty. Uh, whip all them devils. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. God, I'm blessing myself, Lord. For the word. And he cometh, amen, unto his disciples and findeth them asleep and said unto Peter, Why could you not watch one hour? For the one verse. Watch and pray. Watch and do what? And I know when you get get ready, I, I, I done got home, amen, in the garage. I done put the garage door down in the automobile and went to sleep in the car. I need to be, I, I should have been doing me some what? Some praying. Lord, have mercy of God. They were putting me to sleep. Well, I shouldn't pray that you had a nine of denomination, so I was tempted. I mean, at least I made it home. Thank God for that much, anyhow. Amen. And I, and I was safe, amen, bless God. Wasn't doing no more driving. Thank you, Lord. Uh, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is what? Your spirit don't need to go to sleep. Why your spirit don't go to sleep? It don't go to sleep. Who go to sleep? Your flesh. Your, your flesh, your physical part. It goes to sleep. That's why God don't sleep or he slumber because he's what? Spirit. He's spirit. He don't sleep or slumber. That's what the scripture says. So I understand, amen, things about the spirit. Uh, once you get your spirit, man, uh, excited, it's hard to go to sleep. Yeah, that ever happened to y'all? <laughs> you try to go to sleep and you can't go to sleep because your spirit got all excited on, on some whatever you was doing. Now you can't go. Now you toss and turn because you can't go to sleep. Lord, have mercy, God. Lord of God, God is awesome. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, he went uh, away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if this cup would not pass away from me, except I drank it, uh, well, thou will be done. Okay, Lord, I'm, I want you will be done. I'm, I'm, uh, he going to pray now. Amen. Bless God. Amen. A second time. Folks, say you pray more than one time, a sign of unbelief. I beg you to different Jesus Christ. Amen. Praying three times here. The same prayer. The same prayer. Bless God. Uh, for the third prayer. And he came and found him asleep again, for the eyes was heavy. How y'all like them to watch for y'all? Don't, don't, don't depend on people to watch for y'all. <laughs> they might go to sleep on you. 44 time. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Amen. Bless God. Uh, 45 word. Then he come and he to his disciples and said to them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hand of what? Sinners. A righteous man wouldn't have done that. Only sinners. Was going to betray. I bless myself here. Rise, let us go. Let us be gone. Behold, he is at hand to do betray me. 
So we see that Christ is stopping until he what? Until he got his breakthrough. Thank you, Brother Mike. So you don't stop until you get your breakthrough. You know when you got your breakthrough, you're able to do what God wants you to do. Amen. You're able to go forward. You ain't going to go backwards. You're going to go over, not under. You're going to lend and not borrow. You're going to be the head and not the tail. Because you learn how to pray and not give up. Lord, have mercy, God. <laughs> I bless myself again, Lord. All right, Jesus. <laughs> and the test on, uh, at the mall, soft skill. Soft skill at, at, on your job, that's how you carry yourself. That's how you act on the job. Your hard skill is the skill that you use because you know something. You have knowledge of it. Now, what a company wants is a person that know how to how, uh, use soft skill. It's good to have knowledge on how to do your job, but you're cursing everybody out on the job. That is not soft skills. I made a hundred on that tell. I said, God, give a lot. Who give a glory? You see, when you... <laughs> Uh, when, when you got the fruits of the spirit, that's soft skill. When you got the what? The fruits of the spirit, that's what? Soft skill. That's soft skill. When you got the fruit of the flesh, let me get back over here. That's the wrong skills that you have, and they ain't soft. When you got the, we got the flesh, get, get a lot of hands out for our sister. Amen. Coming to the house. Sister Melody, man, and her family. Thank God for them. Amen. It's good to see them. Amen. We're dealing with pride. Amen, this morning. Now we're going to go, amen, to, uh, let's go to Matthew 27 and 46. Amen, Matthew 27, amen, and 46. That's page 1076. Amen, page 10, amen, 76. Amen, uh, and about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli. That's page 1076, 46 verse. Matthew 27 and 46. And that's going to be on page 1076. And we're dealing, we started at the 46th verse. About the, uh, about the night hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, la, lama sabachthani. Then it is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Well, you know, some people say that Jesus Christ is God. Well, if he is God, what are you doing talking to himself? No, he's talking to his God, his Father. Amen. Talking to his Father. And they say, why, why have thou forsaken me? Amen. We got scriptures, amen, to back this up. Amen. We talked about this before. Amen. Uh, why, amen, that happened. Yeah. Anybody remember? Why did God forsake me? Taking all our sins. Taking all our sins. That is, it came back. I know it was in there. Amen. He jumped up. Amen. Uh, Brother Chet, Sister Kim. Amen. He came out. So he took on our sin. Now God seeing the sins, amen, on his son. Now he didn't live. Let's go to page 813. You'll see why. You're going to see why in the word of God. Amen. Why he left. Page 813. That's going to be Isaiah 59. Amen. 1 and 2. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2, and you're going to see why, amen, why that happened. See, the Word of God will teach you, amen, about prayer, and it'll teach you, amen, oh, all the ones that God hear in prayer. Okay, let's go to uh, uh, 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But you're what? That second verse, you're what? You know what iniquity is? A sin. So he was taking the sin upon himself. Our sin. He didn't sin. That's why God always heard his prayer. He lived a sinless life. That's why I got on, on that pulpit. Uh, see if y'all see anybody else got that on their pulpit. Let me get back over here. You ain't gonna have that members. Uh, Oh, my, my, bless you, Lord. Uh, but your iniquities, amen, have separated between you, amen, and your God. Your sins have he hid his face from you that you were not hid. Now, you notice that he hid his face from his what? From his son. God gave me that uh, as I was studying over there again this morning. Well, that was last night. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so, see, I studied more than one time. 
I go over and over and over a, a, a message, and I end up with more and more and more. Uh, God just do that. He gives you more. Uh, uh, study less, you get yes. study more. Yes. That's ain't work the same way in school. Yes. Try to go to school and don't do no study. Oh uh, yeah, shoot hook it, and then come on and take a test and see if you pass. I know when I used to shoot hook in school, I made helps. I thought it was the teacher uh, that knows me. Uh, I'm standing there. Glad that much of God. Thank you, Jesus. Get a lot of hand clapping, man, for the, for the word. Thank God for the word. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Page 1076. Amen. Page 1076. Amen. Bless God. So we can see, amen, that Jesus Christ, amen, uh, that God uh, left his son, amen, because he's taking the sin on on himself, amen, bless God. We got 47 verb. Amen. Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, This man is calling for Elijah. Because he said Eli. Y'all hope y'all getting this. So they don't even know he was speaking in town. Now the scripture tells us when he spoke in town, he gave his interpretation of it. He was saying, My God, my God. See, they didn't have the interpretation of the word as we do today. In fact, they ain't getting ahead the word like we got it today. That was after Jesus Christ's death. Amen. Bless God. That's after his burial, his resurrection. We got more now about, amen, uh, Jesus Christ and the Pharisees had, amen, when he was walking the earth with them. And they thought he was talking, they, they thought he was calling on Eli. Because if you looked at it closely, he did have Eli in there. So he said, he called Elijah. So they added to the word. Just, just like a lot of folks today, they add to God's word. Or they, or they take away from his word. Oh, well, I don't like this one, Lord. You're talking about me. So they throw it out. They throw the part that God talk. Oh, I like that. That God, you want to bless me. So they hold on to the blessing. Oh, you're talking about my sins, Lord. I don't want that. Throw that now. Mm -hmm. Where did well, that preacher come from? On my text, zip seven 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 zero three thirteen seven five East Loop. I thought something was gonna come out. Thank you, Brother Jerry, but it didn't didn't want to come, brother. I know. Getting them drinking too drinking too heavy up here. Forty eight verse. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it, and then with vinegar, and put it on a reed and gave them to drink. Now that had to be fulfilled. That scripture, I mean, you find that in the old testament. That, that's what they was gonna do. Uh, the rest said, uh, let let be, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Oh, that much. When you don't know nothing, you say stuff, <coughs> thinking you know something. Fifty verse. Jesus, when he had cried again, and then with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, and behold, a veil of the temple was red and twined from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. A lot of things happened on him when he gave up the ghost. He gave up his spirit. We're going to find another scripture, amen, to show Amen. Uh, what he did, amen, uh, in that area. You ready to get to that? 51 verse. And behold, a veil of the temple, amen, was rent in the twine. Now, normal, uh, something that's rent, you just start at the what? At the bottom. I hope y'all catching it. This started at the what? You can't say that God didn't do this because it started from the top. Now, you could have said if it started at the bottom, the earth did it. Earthquake did it. No. Earthquake and did this because it started at the and then the earth. Watch, 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 watch how this came in. Amen. Bless God. The valley of sin was rent and then uh, twined from the top to the bottom and, and then the earth did quake. It was after he rent it. Because then you see the earthquake would have did it and they say, well, uh, that's how it spread. Uh-uh. God showed them he was running this. That's right. And the rocks rent. You ever seen rocks rent? Y'all know what rent me? Like ten. Ten, ten pieces. A rock did. Wow. Oh, his creation, his creation didn't like what was going on. My God. Uh, fifth the second verse. And the grave were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the grave after his what? Now, when I started, first started this before, I thought it happened when he died. But the scripture said it was after what? After, 
as his resurrection. I hope y'all get that. So if you'd have stopped in just in that 52nd verse, you'd have been just talking about what happened in the 52nd verse. And then you'd been loud and wrong. Loud and what? Loud and wrong. Loud and wrong. I get loud sometimes and I be wrong. So then the word come back and correct me and I get loud again, but I be right. Because I allow the word of God, amen, to cover this service. So I thank God they started the 57th, because now I know the 53rd would happen. And he came out of the grave after his resurrection and went, amen, into the holy city and, and appeared into what? Oh, that would make a lot of believers out of some hope. After his resurrection. Oh, my God. Amen. Bless God. Y'all see, Brother Young was in the grave. And now he walk in the street talking to y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. And then y'all went to the funeral. Y'all know I was in the ground for a good while. Fifth fourth word. Now when the centurion, amen, and they uh, that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake, amen, and those same, amen, that were done. They feared greatly, saying, truly, this was the Son of God. What mistake he done made there? He said, truly it was. Well, he still is. That's a mistake the centurion made. He said he was the son of God. Guess what? We're going to correct We gonna correct the centurion. He still is the son of God. And he sits on the right hand of God with all power of heaven and earth in his hand. My God, my God. Get it, Lord. Amen. Hang clap, amen, for the word. Thank God. Thank God for the word. Thank you, Jesus. And men and women were there, behold, and all, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministered unto him. Amen. Fifth and sixth verse. Among which were Mary and Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, uh, and mother of Zebedee, children. Fifth and seventh verse. And when the evening, a man was come, that came a what? Of what kind of man? Rich. Hey, this man rich. rich. See, a poor man couldn't have done that for Jesus because he, he had no tomb. But this rich man did. He knew what to do with his money. It's good when you get wealthy in the Lord and you know what to do with it. Amen. Don't be a fool with it. Be a what? A fool with it. Spend it all up on your friends and on yourself. My God. Where did that preacher come from? Bum, I take the zip. 777-03-1375, East Lucas. Thank you. Lord, I'm blessed myself. Uh, advertised named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He was a rich man, Jesus' disciple. Now, there was another rich man. He, he told him to sell everything he got. He didn't tell this rich man to do it. So the Lord gave certain instructions to certain people and what to do. This is prayer. And he went to Pilate, amen, and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate, uh, Pilate uh, co commanded the body to be delivered. Amen. 59. Amen. When Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean line cloth and laid it, amen, in, a, in his own new tomb, which he had hewn, amen, out of the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sculpture and departed. How long he stayed in there? Three days. Three days. Did the rich man get his tomb back? Yes. Anything you give to Jesus, you're going to get it back. He told him to decide to go get an upper room. He needed an upper room for the Lord's Supper. After the Lord's Supper, the man got his house back. He told him to decide to go get a donkey, and nobody sat on him. Lord, have mercy, God. After he got through riding the donkey, the man got his donkey back. Lord, have mercy, God. So whatever you give to Jesus, you will get it back. Man. And sometimes more than what you gave. Don't let the devil fool you. Because you don't see nothing. Amen. Bless God. I'm going to bless myself here, Lord. Amen. Come with me now to uh, page 1145. Page 11, amen, 45. Page 1145. Now it's going to be Luke, amen, the 23rd chapter, amen, the 44th verse. Amen, Luke, amen, the 23rd chapter. We're going to see what Luke account is going to give us about Jesus here. 
Amen. Because if you go to Matthews, Mark, Luke, and John, you'll find out Luke will give you an account, Matthews will give you an account, amen, uh, uh, Mark will give you, and John will give you an account. So we want to see what Luke got to say about it. Amen. Bless God. So let's go to Luke 23, amen, and 44. And it, it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Uh, sixth hour, that's the noontime. Amen. So what I did, I, I went to another translation and gave me, amen, noon. Amen. And, uh, and, and another translation gave me uh, the ninth hour, amen, that was around uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Amen. So all this is happening, amen, uh, around 3 o'clock, amen, in the afternoon. And, 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 and the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. Now we dealt with that in the book of Matthew. Here, here Luke going to give us an account. He's going to give us a little more extra, amen, about this situation. The sun was dark. The, the sun refused to sign. I wonder why the sun refused to sign. Because Jesus is on that cross. He created it. He brought it into existence. He spoke it. He spoke it into existence. See, his creation know him. But the people, and too many people know him. That's his creation. That's bad when the people don't know the Lord like the sun did and the moon and the star. Lord, have mercy. And bless myself here, Lord. Don't you know the sun come up at a certain time? And what it do? They do that every day. Man changed daylight saving time, so he come up at his same time. Man just changed the time. Lord, have mercy, God. But the sun's still doing what he was doing before. So you can change all the time you want. The sun's still going to come up and go back down. What about the moon? He's going to come up. He's going to show himself. He can't show himself. Don't you know the moon shines in the daytime? You can't see it until darkness comes. <laughs> the stars is out there shining in the daytime. But you can't see it until the so you can have light at night. Lord did that. They say it was a big bang. Well, I beg you to differ. A bang of tear up so the Lord created something with the word of his mouth. My God, my God, my God. My Jesus. I'm blessing myself again, Lord. Amen. Why well, preacher come from Beaumont, Texas? Zip 777 1375 East Lucas. Thank you. Amen. Bless God. Uh, for the sake of her. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the what? The ghost. Now, we notice that here, he's saying he's giving up, he, he, he commended his spirit to the Lord. See, once your spirit leaves your body, your body is what? It's dead. Come with me to James. Hold your finger there. We're going to come to James. We're going to see, amen, how that, how that ties in together. Amen. James, amen. Bless God. There's some extra groceries here. 1317. 1317, that's going to be James in the second chapter. Amen. The 26th verse. Uh, that's 1317. But as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So when the body don't have a spirit, it dies. That's your breath. So Jesus Christ, let's go back over here. Let's go back over here to uh, the 46 verse at page 1145, the 46 verse. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my what? Spirit. So your spirit goes back to God. Your soul is going to go somewhere. Heaven or hell. Huh? Say it again. You ever see what I'm saying? This ain't your heart. You either obey God, this obey God. Your soul going to end up somewhere. Now, as the scripture said, your soul can go to eternal life, amen, or eternal damnation. It's going to be eternal. Oh, I don't mind living this life, Lord. This is a good life. I ain't going nowhere. Uh, so, uh, the spirit, amen, once you stop uh, uh, breathing, amen, bless God, you're dead. You, you're breathing oxygen right now. Because your spirit is still in your body. 
Uh, 47 verse. Now when the centurion saw that it was done, he glorified God, saying, certainly this was a righteous man. Now he made a mistake there. Yeah, he was. He still is a righteous man. He ain't changed. I said, Jesus ain't changed because the centurion didn't know what he was talking about. Amen. Bless God. Come with me now to... Uh, Okay, that's page 1292. Amen. Page 12. Amen. 92. Page 1292. That's going to be 1 Timothy. First Timothy 2 and 5. First Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God, one mediator between God and man. That man cried Jesus. How many mediators you got? One. You ain't got but one. And people praying to all kinds of gods these days. They got Buddha. Somebody told me Buddha was down on Lucas. I said, where you at on Lucas? They said, he at that mall. I, I didn't know Buddha was out there. Oh, he in the bushes. Make it back with <laughs> they got Buddha in the bushes. That's why I never saw him. Yeah, keep him in the bush. Oh, uh, my God, I'm blessed myself here, Lord. So if there ain't but one mediator between man and God, that's where I talk. I talk to God through Jesus Christ. I don't come to... He said, you try to come in the other way, you come as a thief and a robber. I wonder if that's on page 1163. Let me go to page 1163. I got something here on page 1163. I put a note there. Let me see what that's going to give me there. Yeah. Huh? That's right. That's it? 1163. Which verse is on, Sister Kim? 10 and 8, verse 8. 10 and 8. Thank you. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. So if you try to come in out of the way, you come as a what? A thief and a robber. And a robber. So can a thief and robber go to heaven? Oh, my little brother, little my brother jumped on out now. He said, no, you ain't going to go on that. I said, I said, how old is he? He is a sister. Nine. He's nine. Nine years old. Y'all need to come over here. We got a nine or ten years old can teach y'all something. Yeah. Ain't no who going to heaven and who going to hell over here. Yeah. Lord, have mercy God. Some folks don't know where they're going. <laughs> my God, my God. Amen. Because, amen, bless God. Uh, I am the door uh, by me. Uh, if any man enter in, he shall, he shall be saved. Shall go in and out and find pastor. So now, if you don't come through the door, normally when you go through the door of a house and you try to come through a window, what you doing? Breaking in. You're breaking in. Some people, now, that might be your own house, but some people might say, what are they doing climbing through the window? I'll come in and go through his door. <laughs> Let me get back over here, Lord. That was in the note. Ten five. The thief coming now, amen, but for the steal, to kill, and to destroy. I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. I'll come through the door. I'm going through Jesus Christ, amen, and talk to God. I'm going to find out there ain't no other way for me to get to God. Amen, bless God. So that's where I go. Amen, I go, amen, when I'm talking to God. Amen, I know you don't see my sin, amen, because Christ paid for it. So I know when I go to Jesus Christ, the blood, amen, and cleanse me of all the things I've done wrong, everything I've done against God, and there's no spot, there's no blemish on me when I'm talking to God through his son. That's the kind of faith I got. My God, my faith, my faith ain't, it ain't weak no more, Lord. Your word has made it strong. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, I'm come that you might have life and that you might have it what? You have to, you have to say that to yourself. When you're going through life, say that Jesus Christ came that you may have life and that you may have it. Now the devil came to rob, to steal, and to kill. But Jesus Christ said, I came. So it depends on who you serve. So I, I want to serve Jesus. Since I'm serving Jesus, I got life and more abundantly. Amen. Sometimes I start laughing. Amen. Bless God. It, it don't look like I got life more abundantly. But I got his word. Amen. Saying I got it. So I'm living by what? I'm living by faith, not by sight. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life to man for the sheep. Uh, but he that is in Harlem and not, not, and not the shepherd.
whose own coming and leave it, uh, uh, it leave the street arakarama, leave the sheep and flee it. And the wolf cometh, uh, catches them and scatter the sheep. What is it howling? That's about it paid. You know, sometimes they act, when they're looking for a preacher, they tell them to send in their resume. All right, they send their resume in, and so what they're looking for is soul. So if you can preach and get a lot of souls in, amen, then you're a good preacher. But then if you preach against sin and start losing all the members, they are fired. Why do you think they fired you? They, they, you, they, they, you know, they lost a lot of their money now. Because now they ain't got all them folks in now. I ain't playing that game, Lord. They're not there for the sheep, they're there for the blood. Huh? So they're not there for the sheep. They're not there, you're, <laughs> they're not there for the sheep, they're not there for their soul. They're not concerned about their soul. They're just concerned about a bunch of numbers. You heard Sister Kim saying that dollar sign. Shoot, you pay your tithes over here when you get through, we're still going to talk about your sins over here. Amen. I wonder why we did that. Because we not no hollers around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all hollers out there? <laughs> we ain't no hollers. Lord, have mercy God. Uh, we care for your soul. We're going to tell you to get, your, get it right or get it left. Amen. You know that before you have to go to uh, throw up. The scripture says you judge yourself. You won't have to be judged. You let the word of God judge. You take God's word. Judge yourself. Amen. Bless God. And if you do that in life, guess what? When it comes down to judgment, you done got right with God because you let the word judge you. And you repented. And went the other way. Can't get no plainer than that. So I judge Herman with that word. If he, ain't, if he ain't straight, I put that plumb line on him. Amen. And if he lean in a little bit, the plumb line will straighten him back up. Thank God for the word. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, 13 bird. Get a lot of hand clapping man for the word. Thank you, Lord, for the word. 13 birds, the howling flee it because it, 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 amen, he is in howling, amen, and care not for the sheep. You don't care nothing for them sheep. He's he, he, he just a howling, a high person. I'm a good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. 15 birds, as the Father know me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and it shall be one fold and one shepherd. When you get the word of God in your life, amen, you'll know the voice of Jesus Christ. Amen, you'll know when the devil, amen, come talk to you. Amen, telling you, amen, you married, amen, you got your wife, and he say, hey, why don't you go leave her alone and go to that other sister. She can sing or she can blow. Uh-uh, don't do that, preacher. Uh, I don't care how many times you've been married out there. Quit it. Leave it alone. Repent. Get right with God and stay. Once you get married, stay with Him. Do it all. Do. Yeah. How you can tell us what to do, preach? Well, I've been married 45 years and I want to quit many times. Uh, uh, well, I can tell you. Because I know somebody that can help you in your marriage. All you got to do is pray. You can't. Fix that marriage because you didn't try to patch it up. I don't want him in the time. Pray for him. Uh, pray for him. Pray for him. Amen. You got to pray. You got to pray for your mate. Stand in the gap for him. Amen. I don't care what they say to you. Yeah, but I don't want to get get you better out the way. Amen. And go on to prayer. Amen. Give all another hand clap, man, for you. God is an awesome God. Amen. Thank God, amen, for the word. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless God. Come with me now. Amen. Bless God to, uh, I got here, page 1124. Amen. Let's go to page 11, amen, 24. Let's see what I got here. And then we'll find out where we're at. Page 11, amen, 24. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Luke 11 chapter, the first verse. In Luke 11 chapter, amen, the first verse. And it came to pass, and it was, as he was praying in a certain place, uh, when he sees, amen, uh, seeing uh, one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. 
So now they're seeing Jesus Christ praying here again. So now they want to be taught. Amen. Bless God. It's good. Amen. Now Jesus Christ will teach you how to pray. Amen. So if you learn the word of God, you can pray his word. You can pray his word. That's his will. And then when you learn of our Father prayer, you can put that in your prayer. Lord, have mercy, God. And he said unto them, when you pray, say, Our Father, man, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as it is in heaven, so on earth. So if his will is in heaven, he wants his will on earth. Anybody broke in heaven? No. <laughs> Anybody sick in heaven? No. Anybody living in sin in heaven? No. Well, I know how to pray. I know how to pray. I imagine God is willing to be done on this earth here. As it is in, see, this was made out of earth. Yeah, you know, I should give me our daily bread. That's both spiritually and naturally. See, you have God to feed you both. Man should not live by what? Bread alone, but by every word. So you have God to feed you, amen, by, with his word. God will feed you with his word if you ask for it. He'll feed you that word, amen, bless God, where your soul won't be hungry. Then he'll feed you, amen, some natural food uh, where your physical body won't be hungry. Lord, have mercy, God. So uh, people in heaven, ain't, 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 they're not hungry. I guarantee you, they ain't hungry. You feed them. You give them manna as angel food. Fourth word, and forgive us our sin, for we also forgive everyone that is in debt to us. Amen. Bless God. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from what? Evil. Are you asking God not to lead you into temptation, but to deliver you from the evil one? That's a good prayer. When you said the prayer of our Father, you see. Amen. There's a right in that. Amen. So I'm asking the Lord, amen, forgive me for our sin as I forgive my debtors as the one that owe, amen, is against me. I forgive them, God going to what? Forgive. If I don't forgive them, what are you, you going to do for me? It does his word. You find that in the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter. Amen. You have to go to Matthew, the sixth chapter to pick that up. Amen. You find that in Matthew, the sixth chapter. If I don't forgive you, you ain't going to forgive me. So when Herman having a problem trying to forgive, he go into? Somebody know what I'm talking about. He go into prayer. And he start praying. And then all of a sudden, that old devil that was on him, with that old unforgiving spirit, it leaves. And then all of a sudden, I'm able to forgive him. So when I see him, how you doing? Praise the Lord. Good to see you. You back over there with those, Lord. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me now to, uh, Lord, bless myself here. Uh, come with me now to James. Amen. The fourth chapter. We got to get James in. Okay, we ain't got time. Let's get the rest of that. Amen. James, the fourth chapter. Page 1318. He's getting you ready. What are you doing with Brother Mike? He's getting ready to meet his brother. Uh, I ain't telling him that, though. Huh? I didn't tell him that. No, you don't have to. You have to tell people everything. Sometimes you need to keep to your yeah. self when God's working with you. Amen. James, amen. Bless God. I'll bless myself here, Lord. Amen. Uh, James, the fourth chapter. Amen. Start at the first verse. Amen. When when was coming uh, wars and fighting among you? Uh, come, uh, come they not hence, even of your lust, uh, that war in, in your members. Lord, have mercy, God. You lust and have not, you kill and desire to have, you cannot obtain, you fight in war, yet you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume upon your own lust. Boy, James, James come right down to the part how to pray. If you, you want you praying, uh, tell me, Lord, uh, give me a straight day job so I can go party. So I go what? So I can be off on weekends and party with the with the fellas, Lord. I go to the boat with them. Now you want to you want to pray that prayer? That's what James talking about. He said you have nothing you have because you're asking for the wrong thing. 
You could you want to consume it upon your love. Your adultery and adulteress. Adultery is a man. Adulteress is a what? That's a woman. Did y'all know that? Yeah, y'all need to hear it. Adultery is a man. Adultery is a woman. It says your adultery and adulteress know you not that the friend that that uh, friendship of the world is the enemy with God. That's God's enemy. So I can't pray. I can't pray in my prayer, Amen, to go wrong with the world. Because it is what? That's his enemy. Yeah, I used to be in that world. I don't know what I'm talking about. I used to call me Superfly. And Quicksand. Ain't no more of that. I'm a son of God. Child of the King. Amen. Ambassador. Amen. Holy. Lord, peculiar. Lord, I must have God. He gave me a lot of names now. My Jesus. Kill the Lord, another hand, clap the man's ears. God and the Lord, he'll change all that stuff out your life. Amen. Bless God. Uh, enemy with God, whosoever therefore would be a, fr uh, a friend of this world, what? You God's enemy. You want to run with that world? Y'all see why I don't run with him? I ain't running with him. If you're out there in that world, I'm going to go to get you out. And if you don't want to come out, uh, God bless you. I'll put you on the prowl list. See you later, Gator. Uh-uh, I ain't playing that game. Hey Amen. Let, let's look at another one. Let's go. I said, let's look at another one. Let's go to, uh, my God, my God, my God. Uh, let's go to John. Uh, oh, we only got some. Okay, let's go to page 1171. Hey Amen. That'd be John 14 and 13. Oh, I know. I know what it is. Let, let's go to page 1332, and I'm going to come back to the other scriptures if I got time. I need to get these in. Amen. 1 John, 1 John 5 and 14. Amen. 1 John 5 and 14. First John 5, amen, and 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask what? According to what? That's what we dealt with earlier. If we ask anything according to his will. So what is his will? It's his word. Once you learn the word of God, you know the will of God. So if we ask anything according to his will, not your will. That's why Jesus Christ said, not my will. But let your will be done. So don't ask a miss like James talked about. Uh, this is consuming upon your old flesh. Yeah, that's what your flesh wants. Yeah, that ain't what your spirit needs. Amen. Bless God. If we ask him at anything according to his will, he what? He go here. It's going to have to be according to his what? It has to be according to his will. He's going to hear. I hope y'all catching this. If you know that he hears whatsoever we ask, we know that he has petition that we are, are, are desired of him. If any man see his brother sin his sin, which is not in the death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not in the death. Now, watch this scripture now. There's, there's a sin unto death. I do not say that you shall pray for. Why well, you can't pray for the sinners unto death? And what sin is that? Anybody know? Blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. That's it, Sister Kim. The Bible says you won't be forgiven in this life, in this life or the life to come. So there's a sin in the debt you can't pray for. If that person blasphemes against the Holy Spirit. Now you 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 may not know that, but the Holy Spirit will, will let you know. You get close to God, God will let you know what to pray for. Amen. He'll know, he'll let you know who to pray for. And then he'll let you know what that person's problem is. Sometimes God will reveal things to you. So you can know what to pray for. 17 verse. All unrighteousness is sin, and there's a sin not unto death. So there's a sin not, not in other words, if you do something else besides uh, blasphemy the Holy Spirit, then that's a sin not unto death. You can pray for that. You can pray for that person. Amen. You can intercede for them. 18 verse. We know that whosoever a man is born of God do what? I wonder why, I wonder why they don't teach that. It's in the word. Yes, it is. If you're born of God, I wonder why you can't sin if you're born of God. Born of his and God can't what? Sin. God can't sin. Come on, y'all. This thing ain't hard. If you sin it, as your old junk of flesh and caught out of your mind, sin it. 
Amen. That's God. And you're running with the devil. What you need to do is repent and call on you some Jesus and pray until you get delivered of that thing got you bound. Your old junk of flesh wants that stuff and it loves sin. And that's why you enjoy it because the devil ain't going to give you something you don't like. He's going to give you something you do like so you can be destroyed. I hope you're catching this. I told the Lord this morning, I said, Lord, help me to fight this flesh like I never fought it before. And help me to love my wife as Christ. Love the church. I pray for that. Oh, uh, it's all now. Uh, but he that had begotten of God, keeping himself, and that wicked one, what? The devil can't touch. Who can't touch? The devil can't. The devil tried to touch him, but he got too much God in. Too much Holy Ghost power. Oh, uh, when the devil touches you, he shock him. You ever touch electricity? What electricity do you get to stick your Huh? Yeah, uh, give you a kickback and then some of them will grab you. If it's a 240, see, I, I'm, I'm taking the acquisition and heat and I'm learning a little bit about electricity. You catch, you catch a 240, 240 ain't going to let you go. He ain't going to take you out. Yeah, 110, uh, uh, you know, pop you a little bit. But that 240 ain't going to pop you. He's going to hold you. So the devil, what he want to do, if he touch you, amen, bless God, and, and, and you got that power in you, uh, it'll shock him. And then if he hit that 240, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost will get him and, and, and grab him and tear him up. I tell that devil up. Ain't gonna tell you up. Yeah, I'll get you some too far to Jesus in you. Lord, that message. <laughs> I got hit with some, with, with some of that that grabbed me before. And, and I guess I was down below it. So in my what, was it well, how much was it? 277. And he, and he grabbed my arm. It felt like a, a man grabbed me. Yeah, yeah. trying to hold on to you. And you, you was on the ground, and gr you was grounded. I, I was on a, on a lift. I on a lift? Up, I was reaching up to grab some other wires, and they had a wire hanging out of a box I didn't see. Yeah. I hit my arm, and it, it, it grabbed on to me. My God. That sounded like God to me. Yep. So you had something grounded and knocked that, knocked it, knocked it off of you. You was on a lift, that lift had rough, you was on a, had rubber tires on? Yeah, yeah, probably that. Yeah, that's what, that probably was, had, was saving you, because the rubber tires was, it hit the ground and couldn't go all the way through you. Yeah, thank God. Thank you. Give the Lord a hand clap, but the chair is still here. Hey, man, bless God. Hey, that two father tried to grab him, couldn't get all of them. Lord, I bless you. He was grounded. It was ground. It was, it, the ground grounded him. Took him out. That's the best myself there, Lord. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, man. God is an awesome God. Hey, man, let's look at another now. Let's go to uh, page 11, hey, man, 72. Amen. That's John 16 and 24. All right. John 16. And we're probably going to have to stop here. Amen. Our time, amen, is catching up. But, amen, that's John, amen, 16, amen, and 24. I need to go to that first, Lord. Okay. Let me go, let me go to uh, page 1289. Page 1289. Amen. I'm going to load this. Uh-huh. See now, Lord. Uh, I got two more to unload. Amen. Page 12. Amen. 1289. That's 5 and 17. 5 and 17. Pray without what? Faith. So we can't stop praying no one. We can't pray no one time. You have to pray without seeking. You have to pray all the way to the end of your life. Amen. Why? Amen. Why? You in the bed, out the bed, going down the road, whatever. Amen. We need to have a proud life. Get to the place of our life. That's, that's just what we do. We just pray. Amen. According to who? According to God's will. Without what? Ceasing. So Jesus Christ gave an example. He prayed all the way to the cross. He said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. So in this prayer, amen, he asked God, amen, to forgive those, amen, that was, that was crucified. And that's when you know, amen, as you're serving God, when you're able to pray for people, amen, as, 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 as fighting against you, doing things evil against you, and you're still praying for them. That's fine. Amen. Come with me in Matthew's 18 chapter. If we did with Matthew's 18 chapter, or Luke 18 chapter. Let's go to Luke, amen, 18 chapter. I got in my notebook, it's all piled up, and I just coming out of my spirit. I have to depend on that. Amen. Uh, 
page 1135. Page 1135. Amen. Bless God. Uh, we might uh, have to stop here because, uh, amen, our time, amen, is, is moving on us. Uh, page 1135, 18 and 1. And he spake a parable to this time, to, to this end, that man ought always to pray and not what? You know, well, you know what happened to people sometimes? They faint. Yeah. They quit praying. Oh, I prayed for that back then. I already prayed for that. I don't care how many times you don't pray for that. Pray without what? Jesus. Don't stop praying. Because you're praying. Keep praying. Because you're always dealing with something. There's always something coming in your life that you have to deal with. Second verse, saying there was in this city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow, a man, in, the, in that city. And she came unto him, saying, A bid me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I feared not God, nor regarded man. But yet, because this widow troubled me, I would avenge her speedily. I would avenge her I will avenge her, lest by her continued coming, she weary me. I'm going to take care of her adversary, because you just keep coming. Now, this is an unjust judge. Let's see what Jesus Christ said about that. Yet, because, uh, and Jesus said in the verse, hear what the unjust judge said. Are you listening to what he said? And should not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, Though you bear along with them, you're going to take care of your problem. Because if our just judge can do that, what about our just God? He'll do the same thing for you. Yeah. Well, watch, watch what else is saying in this. This is powerful stuff here. Yes, it is. We're going to give you the other side of that. I'll tell you that it would bend him speedily in the eighth verse. Nevertheless, when a certain man comes, shall he find what? He's looking for some faith. He was looking for somebody that's going to believe him, amen, in their prayer, that they, God is going to answer that prayer for them, amen, when they come to God all the time, amen, seeking God for us and having faith on the earth. He wants to find some faith here. Lord, you able to take care of this thing? Lord, you able to take care of my marriage? Herman, Herman tried to fix it, and then it looked like you got to go fix what he tried to fix. I wonder why God has to go fix what we... <laughs> Every time. Uh, I mean, every time. Every time. Sometimes we go up there trying to fix it, and we're hollering and screaming at one another. You're fixing it pretty good right now. Huh? You can get what? Get what? Uh, she says something to you, you done said something to her, and mouth gone with mouth, flesh with flesh now. Don't slam. What the slam? When you got problems, you said, you know, Brother Mike said, Brother, it sounds like you learned something over here. But Mike said, you got to humble yourself and walk away. In other words, shut your mouth. And humble yourself and, and, and go into pride. But Brother Jerry got it. Go into pride. That's God to help you. See, you want to pray for yourself first because yeah, you're about to ready to lose it too. So you, you want to pray for yourself first. Get yourself under control. Once you get yourself under control, then pray for your mate. And then watch God. Watch you. Watch you all fix it for you. Because you couldn't fix it. Amen. Oh, we're out of time again. Amen. Get a lot of hand clap, man, for that word. Thank God for the word. Thank God. Prize offer. Amen. We have to pray without ceasing. Praying don't fade. Don't